stems all. But yeah, this episode has been really emo, full of feelings and stuff. Oh man, we're going into okay. Christmas. We've had no calls in the past Actually, hour, it's New Year. which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly, I might do this every year. Sure. Hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. Made any resolutions? So, what are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... Someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask. What's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? <laughs> don't ruin it. I know, right? Okay. Give me a second. Wow, an 18. Fantastic. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? What would be super good for Gabe? An honest conversation. You reach out. The two of you have a really tough conversation. You talk for two hours. She says all the things you were afraid she would. She is hurt. Your absence really hurt. For years, she thought you didn't want her in your life anymore. This is supposed to be good? When you hang up, you're exhausted, emotionally raw. But you're also grateful, because now you know exactly what needs to be rebuilt. And you can roll up your sleeves and get started. You admit you screwed up, and you don't try to rush anything. Gradually, she starts texting you back, once a week, twice a week, first thing every morning, until one day, she sends you a screenshot of her phone history. <laughs> it's calls to Gabe all the way down. And you realize She's saying she's so happy you're back in her life. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. All right, so that was some songs take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. My inner Tyler Durden hates this part of the job, but my inner Billy Mays loves it.
Raffle with fries with prizes for the lantern and tap out night. Okay. Alright, I think I've gotten the gist of it. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to win a raffle. Win one of the raffle prizes donated by local artisans. Also, Tap Out Night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers... Drink specials. Drink specials so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer scented heart of Haven Springs. All right, Gabe. What did you do? Alright, let's go see what we have to do today. Read all ads, answer two calls, check the front door. What could fit under the front door? Maybe. Who's Violet? Get the cat to love me. Yeah, I'm not reading all these tickets? texts, man. Not today. A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve. My friends are dorks. Man, so many texts. People get lonely on New Year's. stay up late and listen to local radio. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you crashed your car head on into Comet, Cupid, Donner, or Vixen, they're here for you. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair, your best and greasiest neighbors. Sorry to see the winter season go. Not sure how you're gonna survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry, Spam's Grocery has you covered. 
keep the winter cheer alive with even more decorations. Get a second Christmas tree, throw a light up 2019 sign on your lawn, who cares what your neighbors think? And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one-stop shop for healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Yay. Happy New Year from Spamps. All right, all ads have been read. All right, let's just see all this. Oh, good for you. Not interested. Right, all messages sent. Uh, what else? You need to answer two calls: Starley football score and this oh, right. final song. It's on. Where's this next clue? Okay, we have a phone, so let's answer this phone call first. Happy New Year! You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Nice. Grandma gifts rule. They pull out all the stops. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm calling. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera. Wow. With the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and grandma super latched on to it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the Cosmos. <sighs> 12 doesn't tell me much. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? You should just keep the Cosmos camera. Consulted. I'm braced for it. You keep the camera, even though it hurts your insides thinking about how much Grandma paid. Uh. And since the gear's taking up half your bedroom anyway, you start putting it to good use. Video blog with grandma. You start a video blog and kick it off by interviewing the person who made it all possible. Grandma would actually love that. 
She tells you all about her childhood, which is already interesting enough, but it's her sweet demeanor yet shockingly salty language that makes it go viral. Soon, you forget all about the pressure you put on yourself to be a filmmaker, and you just have fun making stuff. And you start to think, maybe grandma knew exactly what she was doing when she bought it for you. Duh, of course. Right, I've just gotta use it. Thanks for helping me see that. It's what I do. What do we need to do? I need to remember what the note was written. CHRL realized that one episode my recording wasn't working so I sincerely apologize that I put it in the pinned comment 
that was just a stupidly weird oversight by me. Anyway, that being said, we need to find some clues. Getting pretty mushy, even for Gabe. So one year ago, this brought us together. We were friends in a hut. So that's the second clue. We need to find the third clue. This right here was the first clue. Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. Ever since you started illuminating the future, your show's been bright spot, been a bright spot in people's lives. You've really made heaven shine again. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Alright, we need to head back to the booth and answer this phone. No, answer this call. Yes. Speaking is hard because I have not done any recording in weeks. Sometimes I get the energy to just do so many recordings at once and then all of a sudden I'm done. Just done. And yes, I've made sure that my mic is on. <laughs> Alright, let's answer the phone. Hey, hey, you're on with Steph. Hello, Stephanie. Is this Ducky? Indeed it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. I'm seriously flattered. I'm inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. You're what? Sorry, you're what? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. It's a common arrangement, although it's admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. Okay, how many, how many, how old are these friends, I guess? How old are these friends of yours? Considerably older than me. And how old is that? <laughs> you rascal, Stephanie. I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. No, right? How good is the music though? Four. Yikes. Sorry, Ducky. Four. Yay. So, Ducky's taunty. He doesn't do in this year. Ducky? I'm back. Prognosticate away. Happily or sadly, your friends all continue to live this year. So you don't win your town team. You're certain? They're really old. Pretty certain. I give this prediction a bronze octagon. It's the highest level of radio psychic certainty known to man. I see. But thinking about your friend's death so much causes you to remember why you're friends with them in the first place. You decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally tontine free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in friendship. Thanks for calling, Ducky. Got me flinging the dinos on the hole. Anyway. Let's head back to figuring out some of where the other clues are. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Right, let's check our... Oh no, we've actually... No, we've read all the ads, blah, 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 blah. Listen to your final song. Okay, I shall Gotta be Gotta keep that. looking. Where's that next clue? Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. Oh yeah, we already got this one, so we need to find the fourth clue. You know, if we can't find it. I'm 
I've really been having so much fun playing Life is Strange though. They make so much wonderful games. Well, for this one anyway, it was... Bright, illuminate, shine. Okay, Ryan's talking about some kind of light. Maybe it's in the booth and I did not even see it. Let's take a look in the booth. gonna look let's check out some sex dreams and denim jeans let's play difficult Let's do some banter. It is New Year's Eve, Kind Haven listeners, and that means partying, smooching at midnight, and resolutions. Call in with your New Year's resolution, and Haven's best and only radio psychic will tell you how it goes. It's definitely not in here. Oh. How convenient. Char. You look. Oh, you took a gain of. Oh god. You took a giant leap of faith and moved to a strange town where you forged a badass creative life for yourself. Find the next clue in the record bin that describes what you are. Okay. I do not appreciate the multi colors that it is written in it. Was a bit too much for me. But anyway. Okay, they said you find it in the record bin, so let's just talk by the records. Ah, there we are. I <laughs> what? Thanks for selling Good comics. Effort, That's what I call awesome. <laughs> It is actually. See Valkyrie? We're best friends. It she, says so right here. She's your real best friend. No point trying to pretend. I try to compete and be defeat. It's a match made in hell. What can I say? Oh, well. Okay. So we need to go find Valkyrie stuff. That's what I'm guessing. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? No. Oh, okay. You solved the scavenger hut. Your prize is on the, a shelf in the back. Okay. Oh, 
How many shelves are there? Oh, never mind. I see something. No, that's a full post scoreboard. <laughs> oh boy, how many shelves are there, man? Finally found the last clue. Just have to find my prize. The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. Holy shit, this is rad. Oh, I had to look in the box, never mind. Uh, wh whosoever sits here does so by the beneficence of Steph English. Black Lantern Regular and Staple of Heaven community and must yield their place to her upon you wonderful request. wonderful bunch of absolute geeks. Uh, Steph, the time has come for me to formally release you from the football oath. If or when you're ready to leave heaven, I won't throw a fit. I won't throw a fit, I promise. Oh, on the other hand though, maybe you've seen the little plug screwed onto some of the bus tools. At final taverns and such, this is a result for members of the community who, no matter how far they stray or how long they stay game, will always have a spot at the bar when they return. Well, you're one of them. Now, you've earned it. Thanks for the great year. We love you, man. Gabe, Brian, and Charlotte Pierce. Swing by tomorrow and claim your stool. Oh, that's All right. Sweet. Think it's about time to crack open that champagne. Okay, where's the champagne? Or is it still right here in the back room? Okay, I need I did to a bunch of work on my song. Need to listen to this original song first. It's part of what's on the task list. I love how talented all people in this game are. It's fantastic. I wonder if we are going if she's gonna meet Alex in this uh alternate or not alternate but concurrent timeline. Such a beautiful transition.
Sorry guys, I'm just enjoying the music. Arcadia abdicates its hold over me. So the first step to catch the path should be in company. Me, I'm with you. Yeah, you, you're with me. It's a long way to home and it cuts through the mountains. Color desaturates. Sunlight subdues, but the first snow to catch the light falls on a precipice, a point of perspective to plan the next move. Nice, not bad at all. My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Maybe I should share it with someone. I'm gonna play it on radio. Hey, KRCT listeners, got a special treat for you. Here's a world premiere by a talented up and comer who might just be finally getting her shit together. Let me know what you think. Done with my shift, just in time for champagne. Okay, let's answer the last phone call before champagne. Hello, caller. How can I help you this evening? Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, can I get a large pizza with peppers and mushrooms, please? Dude, this is the wrong number. <laughs> I, I think you might have the wrong number, my dude. Are you sure? Uh, I'm positive this is the right number. This is a call-in psychic radio show. You're live on the radio, like right now. Word. Word. Anything I can fake predict for you? Oh. Huh. Okay. So, am I gonna get my pizza tonight? I will formulate my prediction. All right. D20 time. Holy shit. A two. Very unlikely. A super low roll for a super high collar. What does it mean? Terrible pizza. You still there? For sure. I'm not going anywhere right now. Okay. The good news is that you will, in fact, get pizza tonight. That's good. The bad news is that even you won't want to eat it. Oh, no. It's frozen. When you open the box, you find a completely frozen-ass pizza inside. Wait, what? It's a supermarket pizza, still frozen. How is that even possible? Sadly, your unfulfilled munchies follow you into your dreams. You find yourself haunted by the pizza that never was. Like Tantalus of old, forever grasping in vain at a pizza that seems so near, yet you will never get to taste. Bummer. Guess I better grab a burrito instead. Yep. Good choice. Good choice. I've done enough work tonight. Almost time to break open the champagne. All right, now all that's left is for me to find the champagne, which will be. Yo, how did the stage? How did the song change? Dude, playing our own song. All right, I think it's about time to crack open that champagne. Anyway. Providing I can find it. Extremely rainbow, extremely body. Just like Violet promised. Gotta give Valkyrie her New Year's treat. Wait, so I haven't given her a New Year's treat. Whoops. I haven't served Valkyrie her New Year's Eve treat yet. Man, I'm such a bad vet on oh, no, okay, there's the treat, but Oh no, that's cut later, never mind. Dreams of 
Show's winding down. Almost time to toast the new year. Yeah, you know, if I can find the champagne. I have to be the worst person at finding drinks, huh? Pop champagne. Dude, I can't find the champagne. Oh! Decided to walk all around the store when okay, I could just stand right. What have you hooked me up with? Close enough. Yeah, close enough. Wherever you are. Huh. All right, I guess that's that. So stay safe, be smart, be kind, tell somebody love them today. Catch you all in the next one. Bye guys. Ah, I think this is the day she meets Alex. That we've come a long way, but here it is finally. Here it is finally. I wonder if you're going to play the entire story from her perspective all the way to the end. That can't be kinda cool. Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. True. It's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. No, man. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val's doing great. She's completely moved in. She loves to sleep on my lap. She's scratching all the customers. I'm in heaven. <laughs> all right. Here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. Fun fact, I named my car Wednesday. Oh, she was actually searching for radio DJ show jobs in Seattle. Oh yeah, this is exactly the point where Alex walks in. Oh, there she is! Oh man. Oh, this brings me back. Oh, this takes me back. We picked Zombie Parade. If you guys watched the very first episode of Life is Change series premiere, come on, pick the one I picked. Ah, uh, they did not show us. Dang it. Oh, really? So that's the end. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh bloody hell okay it's fine so this was fun i'm gonna have to find a very very interesting way to edit this into the next video because i did not anticipate it ending like this but anyway, I guess that's that. So uh, stay safe, be smart, be kind, tell somebody you love them today and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>